Hello everyone and welcome back for the finale of Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. We are here guys one last time and to f take care of business we are out of here. So let's keep going inside. Look at the tyrant. My goodness. This one is umbrellas deadly by weapons. It is so much that. Check in, system. Oh, the voice. Tring. Check in, data. Mm -hmm. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Sure. Come on, Jill. Battery connected. Mm hmm. Oh, my God, he's back. Now he's eating tyrants. Of course, he's going to transform, right? He's going to mutate. Of course. Well guys, enjoy the biblical music of this boss fight, the final boss time, against the nemesis. Uh-huh. Activated. That hurts. Oh, we need to heal. Get him. There we go. Nemesis is dead. GG's. I think he needs one more. Holy, took three of those. Oh my god, this bastard is tough. He's dead finally. Let's get the heck out of here. Wait, he's still not dead? You gotta be kidding me. Exterminate, of course. I'll give you stars! Six magnum runs to kill him for good. Nemesis is 
terminated. Nami, we didn't even use our M66 rocket launcher. <laughs> oh my god, you know what? Just for the lol, let's finish this with the rocket. Jesus, man, look at the blood. Yeah. It's finished. It's completely gone. Bye bye, Nemesis. You were, you were a good villain. Let's get the heck out of here. Jim. It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. Oh, really? Who is it? Who could possibly be looking for me? Yeah. It doesn't matter. We just have to be there when it lands. There's no way, that's Barry. It's coming. Yeah. It's the end. Goodbye, Raccoon City. Tough journey. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the president and the federal council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The president and federal council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports of the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Jesus. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. That's crazy, 100,000. Ah, rest in peace, Raccoon City. Now we watching the credit rolls. I'm gonna give you a quick review of this game. I'm a little biased of this game. This is my favorite Resident Evil game of all time. Like they they put more things into the game. They actually give more action. Like the previous one is okay, but I think three has more impact. Uh, the voice acting is much better in my opinion. I like Carlos voices acting. Nikolai's voice acting is really good too. The soundtrack is amazing. The Nemesis tracks are probably one of my favorite soundtracks in any game. Period. Uh, what do you got here? Oh, Nemesis. It's my favorite pretty much enemy of all time since I was a little kid. This dude was like a nightmare for me. His voice actor was amazing. I think he died a couple of years ago. It's really it's really sad because we have the remake and he didn't sell the remake and I think he couldn't do the, the voice actor for acting for Nemesis because the stars is really iconic. Overall, good game. It's not like a huge game. It was kind of not short but middle middle in terms of uh, playtime. Uh the weaponry 
good weapons, like Nemesis and Art Mode drops guns for us, really nice, because on easy it doesn't drop anything. And I think this concludes the story of Raccoon City pretty well. You escape with Jill, our, our iconic heroine. Um, it's Jill, you know what I mean? And Barry came to us really late in the game and saves us. Like in the, like a Deus Ex Machina. That's really crazy. We have Carlos too. Like Carlos, we haven't seen him since this game. I don't know what the hell is Capcom doing. Like, Carlos was really, really, really good. I really like this character. I think they should do more games. Of course, they have Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No Carlos. I don't know why. Like, he's gone. Like, this is... It's sad. It, he's not the only one that, that happened from the old games. But, uh, yeah, we have a D-grade. Who cares? Five hours into game. I don't mind the five, the four hours and thirty minutes. It's a PS One game. It is what it is. Good game. I really like it. That's Barry, I think. That's Carlos. Drinking with Jill. And uh, I don't know who's that guy on the left. No idea. Let's see what we have here now. The epilogue. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield. Whatever all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left it without hesitating because she firmly believes that Chris is alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then, then, then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. Yeah, Umbrella is pretty much gone, I think, at this point. But they are trying to kill everything from Umbrella. And I think that's it, we haven't unlocked anything. That's crazy. And yeah, uh, you need to beat the game eight times to get every single epilogue. I'm not gonna do that. We have that, we have the mercenaries. Actually, we have mercenaries in this game. Operation Mad Jackal. Yeah, you can play with Carlos. As you can see, you have Mikhail with RPG, Magnum, and Shotgun, overpowered. And we have Nikolai. <laughs> you have a Sigma Pro, <laughs> a knife, a blower. Like, this is insane. Imagine having r mercenaries in a 1999 game, and the remake didn't have any mercenaries. Yeah. In order to dispose of the bomb implanted in your body, you must reach the target. Huh. Keep in mind that there will be various obstacles in your way, so do not be afraid to use what da -da -da -da. is necessary to reach your goal. Good luck. <laughs> Isn't it Wesker talking or something? But yeah, um, we have finished the game. This is like the mercenaries mode. Door will open. Can some t can someone kill us so we can go to the menu and call it a day? Doesn't matter. But yeah, guys. Uh, this is one of my favorite RB games. Pretty much. We finished 10 cut. And uh, I literally give this game a 10 out of 10. I don't even care if people hate the game. And say, oh, Resident Evil 2 is much better than everything like that. I don't care, bro. I'm, I'm not even a, a fan of the original RB2 game. I just like Resident Evil 3. I like the remake of 2, but not the original 2. Yeah, this is pretty much you kill enemies, you get you get more score. But yeah, I think we're good here. We're dead. 
And that concludes the Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I hope everyone enjoyed the the road, the story, and everything. It was a pain in the ass to do hard moves right on the back. It, you know what I mean? Then you can... Yeah, you get money. You can get, for example, infinite ammo, rocket from the beginning, which with infinite ammo, Gatling gun, and an assault rifle. And this is it. We're good. Thank you so much for watching Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. And I will take a break from uh, for now. I might go back to Final Fantasy X. We'll see, because the game is really long. And uh, I'm going to think what's my next project. I'm going to do like these type of games, like five to six hours periods. So yeah, thanks for watching this LP. I enjoy it. I hope everyone enjoy it. And I see you guys next time. Enclosure 2K, signing out for one last time. Thanks for watching Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Have a good one, everyone.